Okay, please start with your brief intro. Ma'am, uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, my name is Subhendu Dev. I am hmm. from Kolkata. I have hmm. passed my uh, graduation from West Bengal University of Technology and hmm. uh, in civil engineering and masters from Jadavpur University in water resource and hydraulics engineering. I have three years of experience in teaching in a diploma college, uh, BBIT, and I have five years of experience as a technical assistant, PNRD department, uh, civil engineering practical field experience. This is, and now I am working as a technical assistant, Inland Waterways Authority of in India. And this is a autonomous body under Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways. Uh, mm -hmm. In this job, I am uh, level six. As per seven CPC, I am working here, and my responsibility for this is, for this organization is that I am looking for river barak national various national waterways uh, mm -hmm. like river barak. I am looking for NW 16s and various building works associated building works uh, for mm -hmm. this organization. I am associated with this work mm -hmm. with this field now. All right. What are your strengths and weaknesses, Shwenu? My strength is that I I think that age is age does not matter for requiring knowledge, acquired knowledge. So that is my strength. And my weakness is that uh, I am uh, lap to uh, settle down in my home locality area. That is uh, actually I am from out from my West Bengal city. Um, mm. Now my now I am posting in New Delhi. This far far from my house. That is why this is my weakness. Weakness is my that because I am married person, ma'am. Hmm. Okay, so any of challenges, like any challenges you have faced till date in of any kind of your organization, whatever wherever you have worked till date. Yes, ma'am. I have faced a lot of challenges. That is when I am working with a technical assistant as a PNRD department under West Bengal State Government, uh, hmm. where I face various political influence are theirs. To manage, to manage their, to accommodate this kind of political issues, we and there some uh, conversation with the peoples and understanding their demand and how to solve their problem. That not only the civil engineering knowledge is not required, also the management skills is also there to uh, handle the situations. The political situation is very much there. So how to handle this situation is that is my challenge and. One of a challenge I faced that uh, uh, I have constructed 61 numbers of Angunwadi center in hmm. 10 numbers of village. So their land issues are major issues. So uh, first, uh, the land department, the line organization are not collaborative with us. Then I just collaborated and converse, uh, conversation with them and collect the, all the, the land details and land data. And all the surveys are done by me. Uh, and also the construction now 61 numbers of building are constructed under the guidance of me this was the mass okay. my okay. challenge that is your challenge and what is the biggest achievement what you have achieved ma'am uh, one of the achievement is the 61 numbers of awcs are completed now i hmm. am working as a technical assistant under ministry of ports of shipping so hmm. here i am just face this is the separate line this is the waterway and mm. there's uh, i am dealing with the building and roads so this mm. is just separate line now i have to prepare some more kind of knowledge that is related to mechanical engineering dredging works this these are the some challenge i face and i just handle these situations now because i have almost one and five years of experience so i just go through the organization procedure and set up ma'am all right all right all right okay, okay. what are your hobbies shivendu ma'am actually i am a pet lover so uh, i have uh, uh, two kitten uh, with me uh, with me and i am happy to keep animals yes and what is your immediate objective in your life Immediate, I want to settle uh, at West Bengal and I need this job. Basically, my families are uh, separated from me and my wife uh, also living there. He's also, she is also a government servant. So I need to, that is my first uh, motivate, uh, 
motto to go there and join this organization any any organization how do you deal with criticism if you faced any kind of criticism and uh, wherever you are working how do you deal with that the criticism is everywhere in this organization and it is a what politics over every organization have this criticism but if you have still in your decisions that you are confirm your decision that you are uh, you are right then nobody will can uh, do anything any so just be yourself uh, steady calm and okay shwenu for how many hours you can work continuously ma'am actually our working hours started from 9:30 am to it's almost it's closing time is 6 pm but uh, in this organization various works are there and overboarding are there so 7 pm almost 9:30 to 7 pm ma'am all right all right do you like night shifts or something like that night shift actually ma'am uh, no i am i does not prefer the night shift but if the organization needed for night shifts for any kinds of emergency then i will be present at this situation but i could not uh, continue the night shifts okay shivendu you have told me that uh, ma'am i have handled team of 60 or like that i was head there like hmm. yeah so do you consider yourself a good leader yes ma'am Okay. Then how you have like handle that a uh, a team of like sixty people? Ma'am, first good leader have to coordinate with all the employees below him or her. Mm. So, uh, so coordinate with them. Should manage with the people's people's problems and first hear the their problem first and then mm. the solution give the solution to them and also adjust the situations and control the situation. and any public handling any political issues he should stable calm in this situation and manage the manage it properly all right all right what do you understand by honesty no honesty that's in government organization honesty means if you should uh, avoid from any case of bribes or any case of gift you should avoid these kinds of uh, things uh, mm-hmm. it is yourself from these kinds of things that you should honest in your work if okay. you have any problem you should coordinate with the hires and you should intimate with the hires all right uh, shall you tell me what is the difference between being straight forward and being honest ma'am sorry being straight forward and being honest what is the difference between the two Ma'am, difference is the straight forward. Uh, a person can uh, straight forward. Whatever his minds thinking about this war, what is the best solutions? He straight forwardly answer this. I he does not think about any political or any other influence in these matters. And honest is the other thing. If I am honest, I will not be deal with the any kinds of person who infil. treat me to some others do uh, pressurize me he cannot pressurize me in a to do some work which is illegal for in a government point of view that is straight forward is just that okay. is the difference you have so much of experience like you have a good experience i would say so what are yes. your expectation what are expectations ma'am my expectation my actually my uh, family is uh, all sort for government servant uh, especially my my fathers also an retired person and my wife all uh, she is also an government servant so my expectation is that to serve the people serve the nation and do for the people do for them what can i do the my base job what can i serve and all help right. them in any kind of situation help to peoples this why should i hire you ma'am uh, what actually uh, it depends only upon not only upon the qualification you have it depends only the persons uh, needed because i am already served this uh, state for 5 years almost 5 years and i am preparing for that exam previous i have failed 
to crack this exam. Now I am crack this written exam and for interview preparation because I am very much intense about interested to join this organization. That is my perspective to okay. join. And but that is good thing. But uh, you are so experienced. You have a good expectation, right? And you have a fixed maintenance. So why should I hire you? Or rather I can hire a fresher as well. I can mold him or her in my way as per the organization. But you cannot be mold easily. So why you? Ma'am, uh, actually I am a being a good leader and good human being specially. So I can manage and handle the situation. Previously, I have also handled the situation, these kinds of political issues and any, any other issues that related to people's so hmm. I can manage these situations very hmm. well previous as per as per my previous experience. And if you give me the chance, then I will I will also handle this situation from my very best condition. Oh, okay. It's a good interaction with you, Shubindu. This is your first interaction. Yes, right? ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you know perfectly, like not perfectly, I would say, like many of questions you know that how to answer basically. All right. Mm -hmm. As you have been, so you have knowledge as well. But some of the things you need to take care of. I have asked you, what do you understand by honesty? Honesty, we cannot differentiate for the corporate sector is different. Government sector is different. You have started, ma'am, in a government sector, honesty is something. No. No government sector, no private sector. You can give example after that. But first, you need to make me understand that what do you understand by this term? Honesty is something when we have to be like true to ourselves, to everyone, to everything. Okay, when we are very honest to our work that we know, yes, this is my work and I have to do this. Okay, you know, taking okay. responsibility of others is still okay because we have a pressure that I have to. But taking responsibility of yourself is quite okay. We should okay. understand, you know, what is your, uh, you know, what's our rights and duties, how we have to handle the things basically. So that is something honesty that we need to be true to ourselves, true to our workplace, true to our work things, to tr true to our working or whatever we are doing. All right. And then after you can give example of any kind of organization or something like that, or any personal example you can give like that. All right. So these are some sensitive questions you need to take care of. Okay. okay. Also, you, you are constantly saying that, uh, ma'am, I like, I would love to be in my native place. I cannot do job or something. But right now you are doing Shivindu. Okay. Yeah. Right now you are doing far doing. from your you know, home. You are giving reason constantly, ma'am. I just want to be with my family or like that. See, when we uh, it comes to a job, it comes to a career, we cannot, you know, control everything. Either we can choose like that, you know, something. Uh, we can get comfort only then we uh, when we used to be struggled, right? We cannot be, you know, attain that important or the big thing if we are in comfort zone. Okay. Ma how to handle this question, ma'am? Uh, actually, my father and mother, uh, they are very much old age persons, and nobody was there to uh, see yeah. him. <laughs> see, you can give answer to the in a positive manner that, uh, sir or ma'am, I am not comfortable in ro relocating or I am not comfortable in traveling from one place to another for my job because my father is like my parents are very old and nobody is. Mm -hmm there to take care of them something like that so that's why my motive is to take any you know grab any kind of opportunity which is in my native place or something like that okay but do not include this line that constantly you're saying that i'm not able to relocate i'm not able to nothing is impossible also right now you're doing okay doing so, yes, contradiction. okay yes, so you know we need to take care of that mindset okay. all right we do rest of the questions are fine Okay. Uh, today, I have taken you to basic intro and a personality based question. In next session, we will ask you whether technical things are right. So please read okay. as you are experienced, but you need to take care of very basic to advanced. Yeah. Ma'am, one more thing. Ma'am, uh, the introduction part, uh, what the matlab, sahi tha, matlab, uh, introduction. Ah, that I coming on like. Uh, you know, uh -huh. intro में आपको देखो आप अपने बारे में बताओगे आपका क्या नाम है ठीक है आपके academics क्या है आपका क्या experience है ठीक है कहाँ से आप belong करते हो that's all आपको family uh -huh. वगैरह सब कुछ include नहीं करना है ठीक है कोई overly uh -huh. उसको lengthy नहीं करना है क्योंकि HR को है आप, आपके बारे में बहुत कुछ जानना है अगर आपके पास कुछ important skills हैं वो आप बोल सकते हो 
ठीक है अगर आपके कोई क्वेश्चन आता है दैट व्हाट आर योर फाइव क्वालिटीज या थ्री क्वालिटीज तो आप मतलब ऐसे बोल सकते हो आई एम एक्सपीरियंस एज वेटेड लाइक मेरे पास सॉफ्ट स्किल्स भी हैं एक्सपीरियंस तो मैं हुई मेरे पास सॉफ्ट स्किल्स भी हैं ठीक है आई कैन हैंडल द थिंग्स वेरी इजीली ठीक है आपने इतनी बड़ी टीम हैंडल की है सो यू हैव अ गुड लीडरशिप क्वालिटी आप ये सब सारी चीजें बोल सकते हैं मिशन और विजन में आप तो आई वॉन्ट टू बी इन दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और आई वॉन्ट टू बी ऑन दैट पोस्ट इज माई इमीजिएट गोल या फिर माई मिशन बेसिकली एंड आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स और आफ्टर टेन इयर्स दैट इज योर विजन सो आई वॉन्ट दैट आई वुड बी अ बेस्ट साइंटिस्ट आई वुड बी अ बेस्ट रिसर्चर वट एवर आई वुड बी लाइक इन बेस्ट इन माई टेक्निकल टर्म सो वो सारी चीजें आप बोलोगे ठीक है अभी आपका फर्स्ट इंट्रेक्शन था आपको बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन पता लगे होंगे नेक्स्ट सेशन में आपको और पता लगेंगे ऑल राइट थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट ऑल द बेस्ट एंड प्रिपेयर बेट ओके ओके